It was Jessica Medina. We just finished the World Championships. Uh, final medal night. I got a silver with uh, Macy Kilty and a, and a fifth with Olivia Fisk. Just overall, how do you feel the team's effort was? Uh, we'll talk individually about some of the medal matches as well. But uh, talk about the U.S. effort this, this year. You know, I think if I look at it from a standpoint of the World Championships and the toughest sport in the world, I look at it from a, a standpoint of being in a war, you know, being in a battle. And, you know, you can have all the tools, but if you don't come in with that killer mentality, that, um, that plan, that strategic plan, and that mindset of, is it me or you? You know, and is, is it, are you gonna fight for that? Are you willing to put it all out there? And, um, you know, I think that's kind of what I view. Um, I think that they have the tools. I think that we have the weapons. I think we have a lot, you know. Um, but if we, if we never pull the trigger, if we never open up, if we never take risk, we'll never know what we can really achieve. And I think, um, you know, the results reflect what we accomplished today and uh, we definitely fell short in that and um, you know for me I think this is just the beginning and it's going to be a challenge and I knew that when I took this job and I've been part of this program um, you know so this isn't the first time you know I've heard the Japanese anthem <laughs> six seven times um, you know and, and at this point it's not even the focus the focus is being the best in the world because we can be and that's just part of being Team USA. So for me, I look at this as a challenge, and uh, to sit here and be disappointed in that wouldn't do us any good. Um, you know, for me, I think I knew what I was signing up for, and uh, I believe in every single one of these girls. I believe in our national team. I believe in the age group coming up. So, you know, it'd be easy for us to be discouraged at this point, but to me, I think we're just, we're gonna move forward, and we're gonna get better. What's the fix with the mentality? How does that get uh, where you want it to be? Um, you know, honestly, what one thing off the top of my head is I need more time with these juniors and, and more communication and, you know, more of a game plan when they make that team. And it's tough because there's so many world events. There's, you know, so there's always something going on and, and uh, you know, zeroing in and, and having those game plans with coaches and athletes and talking ahead of time. and and really figuring out what they need for that day. And I, I felt like, you know, we had a prep camp leading into this, but it was, you know, I think a little too late, you know, to really gauge and maybe make changes, um, you know, so just moving forward, I think, uh, you know, once those teams are set, we're just, we're gonna have to get to business and it's gonna be a whole summer of, you know, putting ourselves out there and maybe getting more competitions, maybe, you know, a camp at the beginning of the summer, the end of the summer. But, uh, you know, I think the big thing was we showed up and we just weren't ready. Uh, Macy Kill, multiple medalist for the United States, very close finals match. Fell a little short of what she wanted for sure. Just talk about Macy, her, her tournament, and, you know, the kind of athlete and person she is. Yeah, so um, with Macy, it's it's been such an awesome experience for me as a coach to see her grow, uh, not just as an athlete, but um, emotionally and maturity, and it shows on the mat. And it shows in these pressure, pressure situations. And, uh, you know, on and off the mat, she's an amazing person. And, uh, you know, she she's so stubborn. She's so gritty. She wants to get better. She loves wrestling. She loves competing. And, you know, what more can you ask for? And she's she's consistent. She comes in. She works hard. She's respectful. She's so many things. And, you know, and, and uh, I know she's probably feeling down on herself, but the consistency, you know, that she's displaying at such a young age is so promising. And it's, it's so great to see that, you know, keeping it in a big picture perspective and how much more she has to accomplish. And uh, she takes advantage of all the resources that we've given her and just all the coaches around her. So I think her future is bright and, and second place, you know, in the grand scheme of things um, is a great finish at World Championships and coming back and performing so I think she's transitioning great you know she's she's at the Olympic Training Center part of our EAP program and you know I think uh, it's it's been a it's it was tough at first but she handled it really well and just really getting back to business so. Olivia Fisk uh, almost had it. Yeah. 
lost it in the last few seconds in a really close match. Talk about the match and about Olivia, because obviously she put herself in a position. Yeah, that was tough to watch. And, um, you know, I think it's not just Olivia, right? We've, we've got to be able to score when we're down, and we've got to, we've got to be able to hold a lead, even if it's 1-1, one, one, if it's 2-1, 2-0. Uh, and we can't lose focus in that. We can't relax. We can't hang in ties. We can't put ourselves in positions um, where we can get scored on. We've, we've got to fight, you know. If it's not for a point, it's for the best position and win the moments in the match. And, you know, you know Terry Steiner says this a lot, but but you win so many moments, you win the match. And so I think that we've got to get better in that. And, um, you know, it's not just Olivia, but, you know, I think it, it came down to those small details. And again, it, it, it's a mentality of I'm shutting this match down. I'm refusing to lose. I'm going to do whatever it takes to to finish the job. And, uh, you know, that's, that's going to take time. And it, it's a culture. And, uh, you know, I believe we can do it. And I think... We've just got to get back to work, you know, as a national team staff, as, as their personal coaches, as their college coaches, and we've really got to work together. And, you know, coming from the college scene, coming from, you know, some of those coaches were my coaches, um, the club coaches and whatnot. So, you know, I really want to work together and figure out what we've got to do to raise up these young women because they're going to be our senior women. They're going to be our, our, our next women on the podium. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to be a process, and we've got to be comfortable with being uncomfortable, and that's... That's just plain and simple.